Hi guys, Taylor Cock here for Yahoo Esports. We are live right now on Facebook. We're going to be opening up 53 Whispers of the Old Gods packs. Uh, and we're going to be taking your questions as we do it. Uh, just head over to the Yahoo Esports Facebook page, which you're actually already at. So that's a little bit helpful. But uh, yeah, I'll be answering questions. Anything you want to know about the new expansion. Uh, we've got a lot of cards to look at today. 138, if I'm to, led to believe. Uh, you can go over to Yahoo Esports and check out our gallery of all, of all the cards that are going to be released today. So yeah, let's get started. Let's start opening all of these packs. All right, guys. First off, we're going to start up with... You, you got your Cthune, which everybody gets for free for logging in today. Uh, you're also going to get a Beckoner of Evil, which is going to buff your Cthune. A nice little two-drop. Uh, a really good value for, for if you're going to be building a Cthune deck. Uh, so, yeah. Here's all of our cards. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to get going on, on the stream here. Let me turn off my volume because I don't need to be hearing myself because I'm the one talking. Um... So, all right, let's go. Let's let's open up this very first pack. If I can actually get the mouse to work here. All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look, see. Let's, let's, let's. All right, first off, let's start with the commons. We got a bog creeper, which uh, I actually believe is going to be really quite good in in, in uh, arena. It's not a great, obviously, a great constructed card, but you know, it's a it's a nice little bomb for arena, especially because it's a common. Uh, up next, Cthune's Chosen, uh, a 4-2, gives you a Cthune plus 2, plus 2. Uh, it's, it's not great, but, you know, if, if, again, if you're building a deck around Cthune, it's not terrible. Uh, let's see, Squirming Tentacle, 2-4, uh, this is your uh, Silverback replacement. Uh, still not great, but, you know, 2-4 makes it a little bit better. Uh, you know, what are you going to do? It's not terrible. You got Aberrant Berserker. Uh, enraged plus two attack, four mana for a three five. Uh, this guy will probably get buffed or get popped up if he if he's in play. Uh, just by nature of it being a three five, it's going to survive a couple hits. But I think it's going to be a little bit better in arena than anything else. Let's move along quickly here. We got Shadow Root Horror, destroy all minions with two or less attack. Uh, great board clear. Going to be awesome against some of the aggro decks that are going to be coming uh, coming uh, coming out in this set. So. Not, not not a terrible pack, not a great pack either. Let's go on to pack number two. All right, first up, Carrion Grub. Three mana for a 2-5. Uh, it's a beast. That uh, card's very not good. I'm not a fan. Uh, another Carrion Grub. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, just in case you guys wanted uh, doubling up on that bad boy. All right, you got Mark of Isarge, or however you, Ishari? I don't know how to pronounce these these World of Warcraft words. Uh, give minion plus two, plus two. If it's a beast, draw a card. That's a hunter card. Uh, I, you know, it could see play. I'm not nuts about it, uh, but it, it's it's definitely a nice little cantrip if, if, that's, uh, if that's what we're going for. Uh, stand Against Darkness, summon five one one Silverhand recruits. Uh, this is sort of your muscle muster for battle replacement. It's not quite as good. It's not quite as cheap. It's not as efficient. Uh, you need to be on turn 10 in order to cast it with, uh, with your quartermaster. Uh, I don't expect this card to see play at all. And our, our rare for this pack is a, is a steward of Darkshire. Whenever you summon a one health minion, give it divine shield. Uh, this does not work with the paladin hero, uh, hero power, which is kind of a bummer, but, uh, it's, it's. Hey man, Hobgoblin decks. Why not? Let's party. All right, pack number three. And again, if you guys want to answer, ask any questions of me during this whole scenario, go ahead. Uh, I've got the I've got the app open, ready to go. Uh, Balfin Tidehunter. This is a coal, a gold common, which uh, yeah, it's helpful. Um, summon a one-one Uzatant with battle cry. Is it's battle cry? This card is gonna be amazing in 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 aggro decks. This is sort of I'm sort of seeing this in a weird way as a replacement to Lepernome, uh, considering that it is very up tempo, very good. Uh, it's it's gonna be solid in, in Murloc decks. Uh, I'm gonna keep going this path of opening commons before anything else. Another Biofin Tidehunter. This one not golden, so I'm not as excited about that one. Uh, Cthune's Chosen. Another one of those. We already discussed that one. Uh, Divine Strength, give a minion plus one, plus two. Uh, this is a Magic the Gathering card, basically. Uh, I'm spacing out what that what that card is called. It's a white card. I don't know. Um, it's not great. I'm not convinced. Um, 
All right, and our rare for this pack is an Ancient Shield Bearer. If your Cthulhu has at least 10 attack, gain 10 armor. Uh, at any given point, Cthulhu's gonna have a plus 10 attack. So this is gonna be pretty solid. I, I, I kind of foresee a Cthulhu Warrior Control deck sort of popping up uh, here and there. So this is gonna be really awesome late game. Gonna be a nice little nice little pickup if, if you're falling far behind. All right, let's go on to the next pack. Checking out all the rarities here. Another another pack full of four commons and a rare. Uh, Hooded Acolyte. Whenever a character is healed, give your Cthulhu plus one, plus one. It's a priest card, uh, as it says right there, obviously. Um, and I've been told that the card that I was, the magic card I was trying to talk about was Holy Strength, uh, which is a, a white enchantment uh, in Magic the Gathering. Thank you, Ryan, our producer. Uh, is very helpful here uh, in in that regard. Uh, so yeah, whenever you heal, whenever a character is healed, give your Cthulhu plus one plus one. It's a four mana for a three six. Genuinely not terrible. Um, it might actually work out a lot of the time. Think of that with Holy Circle, kind of ridiculous. All right, uh, Shatter, destroy a frozen minion for two mana. That is uh, that card's insane. This card's nuts. Uh, it's so unbelievably good in in Freeze Mage uh, that we're going to. We see a lot of this. Uh, removal is f just pure removal is few and far between in, in Hearthstone. So, yeah, it's gonna it, this this card is going to be insanely solid. Um, Twisted Worgen, two mana for a three one stealth. I really like this card. Uh, I, I think that it's gonna be really amazing in in aggro decks. Uh, it's it's sort of a it's a slightly slower. Oh, the three one charge guy. I call him Three One Charge Guy because that's 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 his name in my head. But uh, it's slightly slower than that. But I, I genuinely think that a three three damage for two mana on on turn three is is super solid. Uh, and if, especially if it survives for more than one turn, it's a great little trader. Uh, not traitor, trader. Uh, Cold Apothecary. Uh, Battle Cry. It's five mana for four four for each enemy minion. Destroy or restore two health to your hero. Um, it might be good in Arena. It's it's a solid little body, but uh, I'm not super nuts about that card. Uh, let's see what our rare is. Undercity Huckster, Death Rattle, add, an random, add a random class card to your hand from your opponent's class. This guy is awesome. Uh, two mana for a 2-2 two -two is, is not great stats, but anytime there's sort of this discovery mechanic, any, anytime that you're going to draw a card, gain a card uh, that even won't even be in your deck uh, is really solid ability. Uh, I expect to see a lot of that in rogue decks. All right, moving on. I'm waiting for that legendary, to, that first legendary to pop up. This is our fifth pack. All so far, all we've gotten is rares. Uh, another Mark of Isarge. Isarge. All right, Faceless Behemoth. Ten mana for a ten ten. Just straight up vanilla. Um, this guy, uh, you'll find him in you'll find him in Arena. Uh, he's really big. He's a big boy, and he's a common. So if you need that very high end end game card, uh, he's a solid choice in Arena. Not in Constructed. He's terrible in Constructed. Too many other options. Primal Fusion. Give a minion plus one, plus one for each of your totems. It's only one mana. Um, I could see that... I could see this working out uh, in, in, a, in a totem deck. That is assuming that totem decks uh, come up more regularly on the ladder. Uh, Shaman is sometimes in a great spot, sometimes in a terrible spot. So we'll see after, after things sort of start to shake out. Um, could be decent in a sort of an aggro shaman deck. Uh, Eldritch Horror. It's eight mana for a six ten. Again, another arena vanilla uh, common. Not super great and constructed. It's pretty solid in arena uh, if you're looking for that sort of late game card. And our rare for this pack is going to be Forlorn Soccer Battle Cry. Give you all your death man all death rattle minions in your hand plus one plus one. Uh, this is a hunter card, which means you're going to have tons of death rattle cards in your hand. It could be a game changer, um, depending on on how far down or how many cards you've drawn into your hunter deck. Uh, this is going to be definitely decidedly more of a mid range hunter card. Um, hunters like to play a lot of cards, so I'm not sure if you're ever going to get to the point where it's going to uh, really be effective and really get a lot of value out of this card. Uh, but three mana four four two, not the worst. Uh, it's got a decent little upside. We'll see. Maybe a one of in your deck. All right. So another pack. Ooh, we got a we got an epic in here. Uh, so first up, we've got Bladed Cultist. Combo gain plus one, plus one. I 
am kind of in love with this card. Uh, it's so elegant. It's so just cleanly designed. Uh, it's it's not a terrible one drop on turn one, but if you coin this guy out with another one or another one drop, he's awesome. He's a nice little turn one two two three that does that has zero downside. Uh, I, I foresee this guy seeing a lot of play in sort of more aggressive rogue decks. Uh, Evolve Kobold. This is the uh, the evolved version, as the card says, of the Kobold, the two two Kobold that gives plus one spell damage. Uh, that I'm spacing on the name of because I don't remember card names ever. Um, he's he's not good. Uh, the two extra mana for one two one extra spell damage is not not worth it. Uh, don't expect to see him. Uh, up next, we got Darkshire Councilman. It's a three mana for a one five. Whenever after you summon a minion, it gains plus one attack. Uh, this guy, I don't like him. Uh, he's a little too clunky. Uh, I don't foresee him ever getting big enough uh, to really cause damage. I could be completely wrong. Uh, I am not a professional. I am just a decent player at this game. So who knows? Maybe it'll get really big uh, because warlocks like to summon a lot of minions. Uh, our rare for the pack is Disciple of Cthune. It's three mana for two one. It, it deals two damage when it comes into play, uh, and it gives your Cthune plus two plus two wherever it is. Uh, it's a nice little any minion that comes into play and does and that and, and does damage is is solid. Uh, it's three mana for two one, uh, which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. Uh, and that little upside. I, I again, it's a Cthune card, so if it depends on how heavy you're looking to go into that Cthune thing. Um, and up next is our epic uh, Blood of the Ancient One. I despise this card. I think it's absolutely terrible. You will never have two of these in play. I mean, if you do, if you can do manage to get two two nine nines for nine into play at the same time, you get a thirty thirty. Uh, you win the game, basically, is what that what that means. Uh, but he's nine mana, so you're not even going to be able to uh, faceless manipulator him out. Uh, there's that one that makes the one ones and that other manipulator. Um, you can't do it on the same turn. So uh, this guy has basically got a target on his back and that's assuming you draw both of them in, in, in your hand at some point during the, during the game. Uh, so I hate that card. I'm not a fan. Uh, so up next, we've got another pack for you guys because we're ordering, ordering 53 of them. Ooh, we got another Got another epic in here, so let's go to the commons first. Yeah, Twisted Worgen, we've talked about that card. I like it a lot. Uh, Cthune's Chosen, we've also talked about that guy. Uh, up next is Standing Against Darkness. That's that's our summon 511 Silverhand Recruits. Uh, we've already discussed that one. Up next is our, our rare. Uh, it's Blackwater Pirate. Your weapons cost two less. It's four mana for a two five. Uh, it's okay. I don't. I don't really foresee pirates making a big, big splash this this season or this expansion, uh, as they've always sort of been a niche deck. I like them, but that, but I'm crazy. Um, I, I I don't really see that card being terribly good. All right, so we'll move on to this epic here, Shadowcaster. It's a five mana for a four four battle cry. Choose a friendly minion. Add a one one copy to your hand that costs one. So this is this is the uh, this would work with the the blood dude from last pack. Uh, but you can't cast it on the same turn, so it's not amazing. Uh, this guy could be good. Uh, it, it, having having another one of a one of your good minions, even if it's a one one, especially if that thing has a solid battle cry, is all not a terrible option. And five mana for a four four is not great value, but it's 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 solid. Uh, this guy could be seen in a lot more combo heavy decks. Uh, or not not combo isn't the rogue class ability but combo as in combination of multiple cards. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with Shadowcaster. I, I expect some janky decks to come out of that guy. Uh, all right, so moving on to the next pack. God, we have 45 more of these after this. All right, so another common plus rares. Uh, Dark Arakoa. I, I played Endless World of Warcraft, but I have no idea how to pronounce any of these cards. Uh, so it is a six mana five seven that has taunt and it gives your Cthune plus three plus three when it comes into play. Uh, that's its battle cry. Excuse me for using magic lingo. Um, this guy is very solid in 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 just about any Cthune deck that he's gonna be uh, any Druid Cthune deck that he's gonna be running with because you're gonna have a lot of ramp, a lot of ways to get mana uh, into your deck. And it it I, I this guy's a really solid body. Mid range Druid with Cthune is gonna be very strong. Uh, this is a very strong option for that deck. Uh, all right, moving on. Divine Strength. Here's your, your Holy Strength once again. Uh, Mark of a Charge uh, that I'm going to be 
turning that into dust. Uh, Nazoth's first mate. It's a one mana, one one, and when you battle cry, equip a one three rusty hook, uh, which is actually a much more powerful than it seems at first because you can drop this guy and get a one damage attack off on turn one uh, thanks to your thanks to your newfound weapon. Um, I mean, obviously, you're going to replace it with a Fiery War Axe the next turn because Warrior, but uh, this guy is is very solid uh, as a one-drop. Uh, I, I, I foresee him being seeing a lot of play in, in Warrior decks. Uh, Eater of Secrets. It's a four mana for a 2-4. Destroy all enemy secrets. Gain plus one, plus one for each. Uh, buy Secret Paladin, you lose the game, uh, is basically what this card reads. If you see a lot of Secret Paladin on the ladder, it might be worth sneaking one of these guys into your deck. But I, I, it's not. It's obviously a situational card. Uh, if Hearthstone had sideboards and best of matches with, on the ladder, this guy would be amazing. It doesn't, so it's definitely a meta situational card. All right, moving on to pack number forty-five, or forty-five left. Excuse me. All right, so we got another commons and rares pack. Commons and one rare. Uh, Polluted Hoarder. This is a four mana for four two. Death Rattle. Draw a card. This is. Uh, loot Hoarder, but Polluted. Get it? Polluted. It's a really, really stupid joke. Um, but the the Death Rattle, I mean, draw card is always amazing uh, for losing a creature, but 4 mana, 4-4-2. Four, four, little expensive for the stats. Uh, it's it's okay. Um, arena card. Solid Arena. Uh, Amgam Rager. Oh, this is the sort of the pun, the pun heavy pack. Uh, this is Magma Rager backwards. Get it? Because it's 1-5. Stupid. Um, Spawn of Inzoth. Uh, it's a three mana for a two two. Death Rattle give give your minions plus one plus one. Uh, this guy, if he was two mana, he would be amazing. At three mana, he's a little overcosted. It's one of those weird situations where I wish cards cost two and a half mana because it would be very balanced at that. Um, I could actually see this guy working really really well in, in a very aggressive creature heavy deck minion heavy deck um again magic cards sleep sneaking into my into my lingo here all right so uh again guys if you want to ask any questions i'm not seeing any what the hell bring it on let's party um but uh yeah you can drop it right in uh so we got twilight geomancer uh, taunt, battle cry, give your C'Thun taunt, it's 2 mana for a 1-4. This guy is actually, I mean, as a body by himself, very solid. Uh, it, it's, it's 1-4 for 2 mana with taunt, is, that, that, that's actually a really good way to slow down aggro decks. Uh, and if you're looking to get your C'Thun as big as possible, uh, not a terrible option. Uh, you know, having, having your 2020 C'Thun have taunt doesn't really matter, but, you know, why not? I have a gold one now. That's fun. All right, Master of Evolution. It's four mana for a four or five. Battle cry. Transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs one more. This guy is cool. I I, I really like him. Um, he's he's a little risky because who knows what's going to pop out. But generally, generally, if you're going to cast it on a minion and it costs one more now, that minion is going to be better because that's how. That's how cost works in Hearthstone. Uh, so yeah, no, I think I think he's cool. I think he's a bit situational, but I, I think he's he's a very intriguing card from a flavor standpoint. Uh, might actually not be a terrible card in play either. All right, moving right along. If I could actually see what these. Up, oh, do are we having problems here? All right, no, we're good. The servers are a little laggy. Oh, would you look at this? Two rares and an epic in this pack. All right, polluted hoarder. We've already discussed him. Zealous Initiate, uh, Death Rattle will give a random friendly minion plus one plus one for, and is a one mana one drop. Uh, his stats aren't great. One mana for one one is not the best, but uh, his Death Rattle is a nice little nice little bonus for face hunter decks or face whatever decks. Uh, he's he's okay. Yeah, I can see it. Why not? Uh, our one of our our first rare of this pack is Classy Amber Weaver. Uh, Battle Cry, if your Cthune has at least plus 10 attack, or at least 10 attack, which he will because he's Cthune, uh, gain 5 health. Uh, very solid little little bonus for uh, for that. Uh, it's a druid card, so you're going to be casting a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, 4 mana, 4, 4, 5 is already good. He'll see play. I like him. Cthune. Cthune decks. Lots of Cthune cards in, in these packs so far. Ancient Shield Bearer. Uh, we have talked about 
her before. Uh, she is gold now. 